so excited about the marriage encounter. So many people are complaining about what marriage has turned into. A lot of people are not even going to be married anymore and people are giving up on it. You don't have to. Listen, God's plan is marriage. And at the marriage encounter with VFN, we want to bless you. The VFN Kingdom business, we're focusing on you, your family, and your marriage. It's called Love and Respect. We have a special thing for you an entire weekend. It's going to bless your family. It's going to give you tools to be able to, to relate. And, and let me tell you something. Once we understand each other, we can relate to each other. And we're going to leave with tools that are going to empower you. As a matter of fact, here's Emerson now with Love and Respect. Hi, I'm Emerson Egridge, founder and president of Love and Respect Ministries. What is the Love and Respect message? Well, the University of Washington studied 2,000 couples for 20 years and discovered that the key to a successful relationship is love and respect. What I found interesting is that the Bible said that 2,000 years ago in Ephesians 5.33, that a husband must love and a wife must respect. It's gender specific. I always insert, we all need love and respect equally. Women need R-E-S-P-E-C-T and men need L-O-V-E. But there's a felt need that differs in conflict between men and women. We've asked 7,000 people this question. When you're in a conflict with your spouse, do you feel unloved at that moment or disrespected? 83% of the men said they feel disrespected. 72% of the women say they feel unloved. And here's what happens. It, it kind of gets crazy because she's not trying to be disrespectful. He filters it through that grid though. When she feels unloved, she reacts in a negative way, which ends up feeling disrespectful to him. She's not trying to be disrespectful, but he feels disrespected. And then when he reacts in a negative way, he's not trying to be unloving, but she feels unloved. And so you have this confusion and it results in a crazy cycle. Without love, she reacts without respect. Without respect, he reacts without love. And this baby spins. Again, we all need love and respect equally, but the felt need often leads to the crazy cycle. Can you relate to that? And how to get on what we call the energizing cycle. In fact, it applies to parent-child. It applies to all relationships, whether you're a male or female, wherever you're at, in the work arena or elsewhere.